Coming up at noon today, U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy testifying this morning before a Senate committee for the first time since he began his controversial tenure. Lawmakers are grilling DeJoy about recent changes to the Postal Service. Michigan Senator Gary Peters called for this meeting. At News 8, Dana White's in the newsroom with more on the testimony. Dana? That's right, Emily. The hearing wrapped up about a half hour ago. And Senator Peters called for it amid accusations that the Trump administration is deliberately sabotaging the USPS ahead of the November election. Earlier this month, the Postmaster General Louis DeJoy announced several operational changes. He said they've been put on hold until after the election, but that isn't easing Democrats' fears. They say some of the changes were already put in place and have slowed mail delivery. That includes something we've seen here in Metro Grand Rapids, the dismantling of some mail sorting machines. Under oath, DeJoy said that the changes won't impact election mail. DeJoy, who has been an ally of President Trump and a Republican donor, also testified that he never spoke with the president or any White House officials about the changes. I have never spoken to the president about the Postal Service other than to congratulate me when I accepted the position. You will give us your word today under oath that uh, you have not taken any action whatsoever in your capacity as Postmaster General for any political reason or at the suggestion of any, any administration officials. Sir, I will tell you my first election mail meeting, what I instructed the organization, the whole team around us and out in the field, whatever efforts we will have, double them. I was greatly concerned about uh, uh, all, all the political uh, uh, noise that we were hearing and uh, uh, we have had, we, I've had weekly reviews on this since before this, uh, all the excitement came out. We, we are very committed, the board's committed, the postal workers committed, the union where our leadership is committed to having a successful election. And the, uh, uh, the insinuation is quite frankly outrageous. Now, if you'd like to watch that full hearing, you can click on this story on our website, woodtv.com, and we'll have a full recap tonight on News 8 at 5. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dana White, News 8.